in this module of oxygen delivery system we will talk about the air flow rate as we have seen in our previous module that uh, the air current and the air flow inside the mentor is very critical so while calculating the kinetic parameters of the fermentation process the supply of the air is very very critical because the supply of the air that indirectly depend upon the supply of the oxygen to the organism if the organism is highly aerobic and then that how effect on the growth parameters so we have to determine that what is the flow rate so as concern this the air flow rate is typically reported in term of the volume per volume per minute mean vvm the first v is the volume of the air supplied to the how much volume of the and the second v is the volume of the fermentation medium and m is the time in minute so if we want to calculate the flow rate in mean in term of vvm so the volumetric air flow rate that how much liter of the air is supplied with the unit time to the fermenter and then is a liquid volume that how much is the liquid volume in liter so both in both case liter over liter so note that as concern the unit so that is mostly l l and m mean per liter per liter per minute mean how much liter of the air supplied to the how much liter of the fermentation media in one minute so if we want to calculate if we just an example if we supply a 5 liter air to the 5 liter medium in a one minute then the air flow will be 5 over 5 mean 1 llm 1 vvm so that's why by this way we can calculate the flow rate in fermentation medium so in this slide you can see that f is the f a is the flow rate of the air a is specified to that and v l v is the volume of l mean liquid and uh, fermentation liquid so the ratio between f a to f uh, v l that is basically comes in term of v v m so by this term we can easily calculate the flow rate so if we know the flow rate into that and then we know the composition of that so oxygen delivery system also having coupled with oxygen probe so oxygen probe that sense the amount of the oxygen that is in the form of dissolved that is meant by dissolved oxygen so the oxygen probe sense the presence of the oxygen inside the medium so if we want to control that uh, dissolved oxygen in some cases then that can be controlled by two method either by the increase of the flow rate or with increase the agitation so different modern uh, fermenters have coupled with the systems of cascade so we can maintain the dissolved oxygen by this increasing the or a decreasing of the flow rate or by increasing or decreasing the impeller speed so by using the cascade system we can control the dissolved oxygen in any fermentation process or that is very critical if we can maintain the dissolved oxygen which is very complex and difficult because as the fermentation process proceed increase in the number of the cells and then there is a more demand of the oxygen so when there is a more demand 
we will discuss in detail in the next chapter of aeration and agitation then we balance that how much oxygen is needed to respire the one glucose one mole of the glucose